Okay, it's Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107 out and home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your foe, be high Radio shout in. Stepping in the building, I got my Texas fam in this thing. Yellow Beezer, what's good with it, my dog? Wow. <laughs> Talk to me, fool. I mean, that uh, that's on me. Yeah. Going crazy in these streets, man. I mean, how did that joint come about, my dog? Man, just cooking up, trying to um come up with something for a project I was here going in. Yeah, I was at the house just cooking up. Yeah. You can't, me and my producer came up with it where he came up with the beat. I came up with the melody as he was uh, making the beat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how do you feel about this new wave that you got? I know you done been in the game for a minute, man, but it seems like it's going on real strong right now for you, boy. Yeah. Nah, it's good. I mean, you know, it's a blessing. You know, we've well, been working for something for so long, now it's happening, so you know, it's here now. You That's right. Me? Yeah. Now, I mean, Up One, Lil Baby. Yeah. That's another one of them joints right there. When I heard, see, that was the one I had heard first. Yeah. Now, I had heard that that song E, that boy Cannon had been playing that one. Yeah. But that Up One, that was the one that caught me right there, boy. Yeah. Talk to me about putting that banger together. Uh, man, we had, uh, I I had actually had the, uh, the regular version at first. I had put it on my mixtape. Yeah. Lightwork Volume Two, mm-hmm. and like a week after I, uh, I had uh, I had uh, dropped a mixtape, I came to Atlanta. Yeah, and me and Baby had linked up. And he was like, "What you what you got? You want to start from scratch? You got something with this? Was at the studio?" And I pulled up. And I was like, "Man, I got this. I'm going ahead and uh, drop this on you." He was like, "Yeah, go on and pull that up." So he went there, did the verse. And I had I had had the verse for about like six months. Yeah, and then nobody know I was finna put him on a remix because. It was a, it was one of the top songs out the mixtape. Yeah, but they, didn't nobody know I had a feature for it. So that's cool. So when I dropped the video, I just dropped the one with Baby first. Talk to me about coming out of Dallas with it though, man, and that whole movement over there, boy. It, it, it harder. Yeah. Yeah, it, it real harder. We go crazy. We top five in in I think in the markets or something like that, like mm-hmm. consumer market. But ain't nobody out of Dallas making no no street rap making no noise like on a worldwide base. You feel me? So exactly. It's here now though. I can definitely do that. Now, I understand that you're also blind to the BS like Stevie Wonder, though, man. Yeah. I mean, talk to me, man, about this music and this hustle music that you got going on right here, boy. It's a hustler that's in me. Yeah. You come from, when you come from it, man, you can't, it's, it's, it's just the way I express it. You yes, feel me? Uh, so it's there, like, that's how you're going to get from me every time. Now, growing up in Dallas, though, man, I mean, what were some of your influences and stuff that made you want to get into the game, though? For, like, music-wise? Yeah. Listen uh, to... Uh, Pimp, the uh, that No Limit, okay. Ghetto Boys, Do or Die, of course you know Pac Biggie, yeah, Scarface, um, Kevin Gates, Future, like the the, the original Cash Money, like yeah, is that uh, a three six Mafia? Oh, yeah. Now, how do you describe your style right now, man, and what you bring into the game though? I don't know. Yeah, I I ain't never just really even try to think about it like yeah. That. I, I'm just doing me, whatever, how, whatever you hear. How long you been doing it though, Bees? Uh, I've been rapping since I was 13, 26 now. <clears throat> what was that point when you realized that this thing was gonna work though? I mean, I, I always had good music. It was just harder coming out of Dallas though. Uh-huh. Like I, I always, if you you can go back to the project before Lightwork Value, you can go back to Lightwork too. Yeah. You can go to when I country rap to him when it was nothing but Texas, UGK sound. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I always, yeah, it was just harder coming out of Dallas though. Now, how is it maneuvering in Texas, though? Because, I mean, can you go around in there and get enough love to sustain? Yeah. No, nah, Texas yeah. showed me love. I don't know, especially my city. Texas showed me love, though. Like, I'm packing out. I'm packing house out anywhere yeah. in Texas, though. Okay. Like, I can go play them in Texas my own self. That's how big it is. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, Texas, they show me love. But, you know, like, if when you mention Texas, mm-hmm. people going to say Houston. We kind of like the, um, that's how you say it, like, if you say Cali, they say L.A. Yeah. We kind of like the Long Beach. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or the <laughs> Bay Area or something like that. Yeah. That's com- compared to the people, but you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's up the street, but it's a whole different world. Exactly. Whole different now, world. talk to me about growing up in Dallas, man, because I understand you had some uh, broke nights and rich days in yeah. that thing, man. Yeah, you know, everyday struggle. I yeah. don't like to mope about it. Or of try course. To, try to make myself... Sound like you know how everybody is doing, man. We had regular everyday struggle, man. Yeah, we prayed about it, and we got through it. We here now, exactly. How do you feel being here now, though? Because I mean, you had to haul off and buy mama a farm, though, man. Yeah, now, nah, you know, as the money gets bigger, blessings come become bigger. So, you know, exactly. as as I was, as I be like, I'm out here seeing new stuff, I'm, I'm gonna introduce my family to it, exactly. You know, so we ain't come from it, so it, it's something that's gonna be new to everybody. 
How is it with it being new to you, though, man? When you don't come from it, I mean, how do you adjust to that money coming in like it's supposed to, though? Now, the, the money part, I've been getting money now. Okay, like, okay. Like, that, I mean, we talking about early on days, but, like, yeah. when, I, when I got old enough, like, I, I've, I've been getting to the money. So, it's like, it ain't just really just new to me, really. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, I know how to handle stuff. I just, like, I don't, I don't let it get to my head or try to... You know how people get money, they get big head, they get cocky, and just like you, I'm the same yellow because it's like I'm used to it. when it comes to the popular stuff. I've been hood popular, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Hood famous. So, like, that's another, like, it just like now it's just like on a bigger level. So, that's why I probably ain't just really just hit me like that because, like, exactly. I've been going through this. So, it ain't just like something that I'm new to. So, I ain't finna just put it over nobody here like that. That's right. Know? Now, when it comes to that music, though, yellow. Staying down with it, cause I mean, from thirteen to twenty six, that's a long time to be grinding, man. And then coming out of Dallas with it, yeah. what was it for you that encouraged you to stay down with it all that time? I want, I ain't wanna, um, I ain't wanna work no nine to five, and I ain't wanna be no regular person. Mm-hmm. And it was something like it was just a passion of mine, so it was like I couldn't stop it. Like I just like it's this my way out. This my this I like my kid from the boy. You I ticket out together. You the t- I ticket out the hood. That was my ticket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know like hustling and all this. That was cool, but. Ain't nobody trying to do that for the rest of their life with their whole life. Cause you already know the ins and outs of that. So the best yeah. thing to do is to make everything possible and make everything count. So I stuck with it. I was too good at it. Like yeah. people telling me I'm too good at it. Out of everybody else, they'll just, you know what I'm saying, they're weighing on me. So I was like, okay, if they rocking with me, it's something about myself that I got to yeah. keep on going. You know what I'm saying? Now coming out of Texas with it, though, man, being that new wave. Because it's been a minute since we got some real hard music coming out of Texas. Yeah. That's really flowing like it's doing right now. Yeah. So how do you feel being a new wave out of Texas? It's a blessing. Yeah. That's all I can say is a blessing. Mm-hmm. And like I say, it's something that we've been grinding. I've been grinding hard for like a long time. Yeah. And now it's here, so I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity and then just keep on applying pressure. Creative process, man. When you get in that studio and it's time to jam, what is it that gets your vibe right to bring the phone like you're supposed to? Just a beat. Yeah, I don't smoke. I, don't, I, I drink occasionally. I don't. I don't, I'm not no drinker. I, I do it occasionally. I ain't no smoker. I don't drink. I just be in my own vibe, like my own world. So how do you select them beats though? Cause like that up one, that was one of them hard ass beats too. When I heard that track and then you got on that thing and rolled it, I said, okay, yeah. this is what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? You gotta talk to me. Yeah. I don't. I don't like everybody else saying. I like yeah. my own saying. So I stick to what's best for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm a. What, what's going? What I'm what I'm apply pressure on. That's what I'm gonna go for. Exactly. Now yeah. I seen you running around town with a python on your arm the other day, but I mean, what was that all about, fool? I grew up with them things. For real? Yeah, my dad had a uh, python, probably that thing belongs in the truck. I grew up having them things around me. Now I mean, talk to me about that, cause now you over here snake charming this thing. How you dealing with pythons and what was that like? And I mean, why do y'all family rock with them snakes like that? My, I don't know. He just liked the crazy stuff. So, yeah. And then he was on some some more stuff with him, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So I ain't gonna get all into that. But you know, he was just a freak ass nigga, man. <laughs> oh, I pee my daddy. You know what I'm saying. He kept them snakes. And I I was I was young. You can ask him. He been known south. Yeah, I was about four five. And rock around big old python around me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, how do you feel with folks waking up? Because I know at one time you felt like they was trying to sleep on you, man. Yeah. It's it's cool. It's great. It's crazy though. Like today, I remember. Bro, I remember last year. I mean, a couple people come up to him like probably once or some one person. But now like, I went to the mall. I went to Linus today. Yeah. Like, everybody running up to me. I'm talking about from little kids to the older folks. Like crazy. Exactly. I remember when people wouldn't even recognize who I was. I remember I would come down here BT weekend passing out my CDs out. Didn't nobody know me. But if you from my city. How do you feel, though, man, when you see that transition and you see that growth, knowing that you came from the mud with it and then knowing that everybody's knowing your name now? It's her now. Yeah. It's her. I can definitely dig it's that. It's her now. Lastly, man, what else you got coming up, though, BZ? Uh, I'm just dropping new uh, new videos right now. I'm probably dropping another project a couple months. I'm already about 40, 50 songs in on that. So that's how you rocking over there, man? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't even when I dropped my project, I was recording, like, I had never stopped recording. I don't never stop recording, really. If I get a beat, I'm going to go record it. Right. Like, when I had dropped my um my mixtape, like, I was recording songs the day, probably when I came over with the playlist. Like, I was, I still, I ain't stopped. Yeah. I ain't stopped recording. I ain't stopped since November when I dropped my lab project. I can dig 
I still got songs from years ago that I ain't you. I could definitely dig it. Yeah. How can folks contact you and anything else you want to get off your chest, my dog? Uh, all social media, Yellow Bees 214, Y E L L A B E E Z Y 214. My manager number 214 791 6306 for bookings. I can dig it. Yeah. Bees. That way. My dog, for appreciate sure. you coming through this thing, boy. I wish you nothing but the best and much success. For sure. Be high radio shout. It's hot 1079, man. Let's go.